Hi, I'm Mike. Uh, I play guitar for Ann Arbor. And I'm Slade. I play bass and sing for Ann Arbor. And you're watching Eric live on the air. All right, so I am here with Slade and Mike. We're in the band Ann Arbor. Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to like build relationships with people while you're on the road, and then, I mean, of course, leaving them. It's always a sad thing. It's like leaving your friends in you know, a summer camp or something. It's kind of the same thing on tour where like we never really say goodbye because being on tour, we're always going to see everyone we meet again, yeah. mm -hmm. whether that be uh, on another tour or work tour or just running into them, our tours in the same town on the same night. Tomorrow you guys are in Boston. What are your plans after that? Uh, um, I think uh, we're gonna do the Zoomies couch tour with Firm Six Kids. Exactly. Okay. That's uh, that's our plan right now. We got that tour coming up, and it's uh, it's gonna be we're doing like the West Coast portion. Go yeah. different malls, and they set up like different skate teams do different skate demos, and they have live music during the day, and so it should be cool. Can you kind of like a warp tour vibe? Yeah. Can you guys skate? Yeah, um, our guitar player Adam likes to skate. We all like to like longboard and mess around, but none of us are like real like skaters. Trick, skaters. Yeah, yeah. None of us really do it all the time. Are you gonna try and learn from uh, going around and watching those guys? Uh, yeah, we'll definitely be watching them. It'll be cool to watch yeah. them do like all the vert and mm -hmm. all that. Uh, any plans of recording something new? Uh, yeah, or? we're actually writing right now, and we're uh, our goal is to go in the studio at the uh, after like the Zoomy store. Okay. Recorded right, and get right it out before this tour we released, I think, called the mixtape, which is like seven free songs, and you can download yeah. it online. You should check that out if you guys haven't. And you, we can check it out where? Um, you can go to our uh, AnnArbor.net, our website. That's the first thing that comes up. It's called the mixtape. Um, download it for free. It's seven songs, and it's awesome. Okay. Um, now, it's the mixtape. Like, are you mixing some old unreleased songs, some no, songs that were released? It's kind of like a mix of, uh, we wanted to take like different type songs, whether that be uh, like, uh, I don't even know, like uh, top 40 type radio songs or like indie electronica type songs and we kind of added our own rock and roll vibe to it and kind of uh, show kids that um, we can do any type of music. And it's a, uh, if, you, if you listen to it, it's got covers, mixtapes, remixes. B sides from our record. It's guest just singers. Yeah, yeah, guest vocalists. Like it's cool. Wow. Yeah. Um, now, whose idea was that to put out? Um, it's kind of just like a cool thing we all thought would be fun to uh, showcase uh, our talent. What is one of the, I guess, most known covers on that? Um, probably our Weezer cover. What we did is we covered a song called Hashpipe. Hashpipe. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um. So, I mean, like, what's the type of feedback you guys have received from that? I mean, Great. I mean, it, 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 we couldn't be more happy about it. it, it people seem to be really like it. We did it completely for, their, like, the fans and the listeners because, like, obviously we're not trying to make money off of it. We give yeah, it out for free. Yeah, if you're giving it out for free. And I so, mean, like, it was kind of just something for the listeners. And I think uh, they like that. I mean, it's yeah. cool that they get to hear some new music and something especially different. that's, yeah, something we would never put out on an actual record. Okay. Yep. Um... Now, you guys, you said you're going to be recording. Is it going to be a full length? Yes. So, uh, 10 to 13 songs, I guess? Yeah, exactly. Now, if you could think back from this tour, what would you say your favorite date on this tour has been? Hmm. I love Philly. I love Salt Lake <coughs> City. I love Chicago. I love Toronto was great. Toronto was great. I heard some, he was talking about Toronto, too. Eric was talking yeah, about that. Yeah, it's a great show. What was so great about Toronto? Like, Packed. It was crazy. Kids Still are great. Kids. Yeah, it was awesome. If you can think back, like from other shows on other ven uh, at other other venues and other tours, what would you say has been for each one of you the best show you guys have played ever? Yeah, ever. Best show we've ever played. Well, my favorite show we ever played, we got to open or we got to play the main stage on Warp Tour in Chicago, and we played in front of like the most people we've ever played in front of in our lives. You know, like an estimate of how many were there. <sighs> I mean, War Tour, know, obviously, to it's thousand, really, like... Two to four thousand, I don't know. There's a lot of kids. Yeah. I, the, you don't know, like, throughout the day, there's, like, I don't even know, like, like you know, 16,000 yeah, kids said, or like, something like that. Some venues, it's, like, 15 or 20. Exactly. It's crazy. So. It was cool. Yeah. Is that for you as well? Um, we had a cool show in Houston. It was, like, there was, like, a hurricane or something going through in um, the War Tour, and, like, Mud was everywhere, and like kids were just going nuts because they were getting rained out. They didn't care, so it was just crazy. That was a wild show. 
So there was a hurricane going through, and you guys yeah, were on, like, like with every, were any bands like, do we need to go on today? Yeah, some bands were really worried, but we they got... Put, they just, postponed it for an hour, I think, but then they just kept it, yeah. kept it going. Alright. Was that, like, was it hard to go through your set with, like, wind and rain and whatever? And no, man, we can rap and roll whatever yeah, weather. You kind of just forget about it once you're, like, in the middle of playing, and, like, you see everybody freaking out. It yeah. kind of added to yeah. the show. Yeah. It made it more hyped up. Yeah. Kids were having a great time. I mean, it does change it. Like, a lot of people will remember that show for hopefully you guys being able to go on there and just rock out. Yeah. Uh, a song no one would expect us to cover. Probably a country song. Yeah, because <laughs> we never would. Because we don't really listen to country and we're like kind of rock, so. So we would do. A, don't break my heart. My achy breaky break heart. heart. Is, isn't that uh, what's the name? Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah. There you go. Billy Ray Cyrus song. Oh yeah. That's something that nobody. Achy breaky heart. No one expected us to do that, <laughs> and we would make it fucking rocking, dude. Right. I can see it. I don't want to see it, but I could see it. <laughs> um, we've had a fan uh, come like find us, find our hotel room, find us, and like. Knock on our hotel door. That was weird. With like a six pack of beer and like let's chill. And we were like, um, <laughs> no. Yeah. Weird. They like found out where we were. They found our like tour manager's name and stuff and called around and asked if like he had checked into any of these hotels. He found our found our hotel. It's kind of weird. And I mean like, what did you say when you saw this random person at the door? We were like, hi. We were respectful about we, it. We definitely we let him in for a little bit, and then we were like, "Hey, like this is gonna, this is gonna go really yeah. fast." We were trying to be as nice as possible, but after we were just like, "What? What just happened?" When you guys think of Vans Warped Tour, since we were talking about it, what is the first thing that you guys think of? <sighs> kind of like growing up. I mean, that's like how our band, what our like what our band did when we were growing up. We went to like Warped Tour and like concerts and stuff like that. So I mean, it kind of reminded of us of like our goal and getting on Warped Tour is so awesome. So um, yeah, it's kind of like uh, represents all sorts of music for us. That's what Warped Tour is. It's like um, style A through Z. You know, mm -hmm. there's so many different types of bands. Yeah, agreement. Yeah. Alright, and then uh, last question for each one of you. Uh, what is a hidden talent that nobody knows about? Hidden talent. Hidden talent. And it's not music related, not like I can also play the drums. Um, what's one of your hidden talents, dude? I can do this. Not a lot of people can do this. They touch their fingers. I can't do that. Actually, I can do it with one hand. It's really close. Yeah, one is like. Really I can do it if I push it. Yeah, it's it's a touch it. No, I do that. That's Everybody true. thinks they can do it, but they can't. Everybody, yeah, it looks a lot it's easier, easier than what it's not. It's not. Alright. Um. In talent, um. I can juggle. Seriously? Yeah. Like, juggle. Can you? <laughs> yeah, I can juggle up. No, I no, I really can't. Well, let me preface it. I can only juggle three things, so it's not. I'm not that good. Things more than a lot of people. Yeah, like two things is lame, but I could do three balls at once or three different things at once. All right. If I gave you my cell phone, your cell phone, and the water bottle, could you do it? I don't think I could. What? I need. I need like. Like ball kind ball. of relatively like beanbag ball, like any type of. I know I have at least one ball, but yeah, I don't have a ball. I would love to show you guys. I really want to see this now. Like, but, uh, I want to find balls. To find there's nothing in here. Yes. Oh, there's nothing in there. <laughs> God, I just want to find a bunch of balls right now, dude. And juggle <laughs> and juggler balls. I just want to juggle a shitload of balls right now. That's sick, dude. Yeah, that what can I tell you? <laughs> Um, he just likes juggling balls. <laughs> all the time. It's, Me too, dude. That's why I come to meet the band. Hell yeah. Um, Alright, well thank you guys so okay. much for the time. I appreciate it. I hope that you like this, but you probably won't.